events that you have just seen here, because we're still waiting for two of our distinguished speakers to, to serve you. So, good luck and good success. Thank you, Alexander. I think this is also an opportunity to thank Alexander and his team at the CSO office uh, for all the support that they have given um, us, the organizers, and the uh, MGFC um, in making this forum possible. So one round of applause for Alexander's team, please. So now um, we have Professor Dr. Oliver Rappel, who is the Director for Climate Policy and Energy Security Program for Sub-Saharan Africa of Conrad Adenauer uh, Foundation. Um, CAS is an important development partner, partner that enabled the holding, the conduct of this uh, 17th Global Major Group and Stakeholder Forum. So let's hear from Dr. Raffel. Thank you, Chair, and uh, good morning. A very warm good morning to everyone. Um, it's a great pleasure to be here, and I'm, I have to apologize for coming in late. We had some difficulties in uh, entering the premises, but I'm oh. <laughs> I'm, very, <laughs> I'm very happy. Well, you have a badge now, right? <laughs> yes, I have a badge now. Wow. <laughs> uh, but we managed, and we're here for the Global Major Groups and Stakeholders Forum 2017, which um, is, a, is a great event in preparation of uh, UNEA, UNEA 3. And uh, I'm very much uh, looking forward to the cooperation and the continued cooperation with UN Environment. As uh, Mr. Juras has just said, we have partnered up with UN Environment. Uh, the Konrad Adenauer Foundation uh, is, um, has a stronger uh, footprint on the, on the African continent now with our new program for climate policy and energy security, which is a regional program for Sub-Saharan Africa. And with this program, we have about 16 offices over, all over the continent, uh, with uh, which we attempt to work closer with the civil society, but also with governments and, and beyond. So I'm very happy to, to be here. And um, I would just briefly like to uh, introduce our program um, so that everyone knows what the Konrad Adenauer Foundation is. It is a German political foundation linked to the um, Christian Democratic Party. Uh, our head of the party, as you know, is uh, Dr. Angela Merkel, the Chancellor of the Federal Republic of Germany. And our, our foundation uh, is represented in more than 100 countries um, around the world. And recently we have, as I said, established a new program for Sub-Saharan Africa for climate policy and energy security. We also have similar programs for Australasia based in Hong Kong, for um, the MENA region in um, Morocco, and for the Americas in, in Lima, Peru. Our, our program attempts to improve the political and social framework and the conditions for a climate-friendly, climate sustainable development. And we want to ra raise awareness, and that's why we support an event like this among civil society, but also among decision makers, opinion leaders, from politics, business, and um, we want to um, developed together with partners like U UN Environment, a political, societal, economic environment where strategies for climate-friendly, energy-friendly, renewable energy, sustainable um, processes are um, investigated and developed. We want to intensify regional and international cooperation on climate protection, on fostering energy security, which is so much needed still in Africa, where more than 60% of the population still lack access there too. In this light, I cordially welcome everyone here on behalf of the Konrad Adenauer Foundation. Stiftung, by the way, is the German word for foundation. And I wish you excellent deliberation over the next two days. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Rapper. Now we give the floor to Jorge Laguna Celis, who is the Secretary of the Governing Bodies of the UN Environment, to give us his welcome remarks on behalf of UN Environment. Jorge. 
Thank you, thank you, Elenita. And please, uh, dear colleagues, allow me to apologize myself for, for being uh, a little bit late to this very important opening segment of our uh, Global Major Groups and Stakeholder Forum. At the outset, I want to thank you specifically, to thank each one of you from having traveled from far or having traveled from close, but for having set up the time to be here and engage not only amongst yourselves as major groups and stakeholders, but also with government representatives who are here today uh, with us and that want to hear from you. I also want to thank uh, all of the organizations that have supported and made possible the participation from civil society stakeholders, especially in Africa, but also in other regions of the world. Specifically, the Conrad Adenauer Foundation, who has made available resources for many civil society participants to be here today. And uh, thank you for that. Many member states have also pledged their support for this assembly. They have offered resources that also enable you to be here and take part of the decisions and take part of the legislative process of the assembly. So my thanks to all of them uh, go as well. This assembly is very special. It's an assembly in which our governance is evolving. There are changes on their way. The first it is that you are now not as you used to be in the past before the ministers arrived. You're actually gathered before the main negotiating meeting of the assembly, the open-ended committee of permanent representatives. So one of the goals and one of the objectives that the Global Major Groups and Stakeholder Forum has, that it is to be able to review the decisions that are going to be adopted by governments, to be in the position to make your voice and your opinions heard can now be met. In the past, we were in a situation where the Global Major Groups and Stakeholder Forum was mainly a forum for exchange of experience, but not so much a forum to impact the intergovernmental process. That has changed, and in the course of the next two days, I invite you to carefully analyze the resolutions that are on the table so that your opinions, your ideas can be also heard. We are also learning from the uh, lessons learned of the past, and we have went a step beyond. In the past, it was difficult even for you to get access to many of the legislative and parliamentarian documents as they were processed. It was like, despite the fact that your role and your position being recognized by the rules of procedure of the intergovernmental process, the doors of the process itself kept shutting up on you. I want to really recognize uh, the support, the understanding, and the uh, openness by the governing uh, bodies of the UN Environment Program in the fact that with the support from member states, all of those accredited organizations now have the opportunity to review the text as they evolve and to comment on them and to share their thoughts and to share their views as they progress through the resolution platform. I am sure that this is a remarkable achievement in terms of opening spaces for you that you will hopefully appreciate. In a third instance, I also want to recognize that you have had also the opportunity to engage in the context of the intergovernmental meetings with very substantive briefing notes and presentations. I recognize specifically the women major group, the scientific community major group, the indigenous major group, the business major group, because you have had the opportunity to have your points of view heard. Now, my plea for you is that you continue to use these spaces, that you continue to help us strengthen our governance. My second plea to you is those of you that are experienced, that have been here in the day since the Governing Council, you transfer that expertise, you transfer that know-how, that knowledge to those colleagues that are joining 
the family of accredited organizations. Since the last assembly, this family is growing. The interest of getting engaged in our processes is growing. I'm looking at Alexander, but now we are also close or past Tabea, 400 and how many accredited organizations? In our last account, 400 and? 13. 13. So that means we've added almost 100 members to our family, if not more, since our last assembly. So also a big welcome to all of those new organizations who are now members of this stakeholders family. Let me just conclude by reassuring you that throughout the next two days, throughout the days of the open-ended Committee of Permanent Representatives, throughout the days of this very short but very important assembly, we are here to help you. We are here to ensure that the spaces are respected for you, that you can take part with due respect to the rules of procedure, with due respect to the nature of the organization in the main deliberations. And uh, myself, my colleagues there at the back, Mr. Juras, Sobel, Tabea, and all others that have made possible this uh, forum are there to assist you. Please don't hesitate to reach out to them. Uh, Elenita, thank you so much for inviting me to be here to join us. I remain available and most of all, Thank you for making your way here to Nairobi. Have wonderful deliberations. Thank you very much.